everybody should have a new suit on for the year, right? I know. Right? And you must feel... It's a little stiff. You know, got to break it in a little bit. Yeah. More dance moves. <laughs> we love the FD dance moves. Uh. Great year. Um, great off season for you. Second year in the Corvette. And so talking to Matt a little bit earlier, man, I got to be honest, like you were just oozing confidence. He felt so good. Like you must feel so good. You had a year of progression. You did amazing. Now coming into Long Beach, you know this girl and you're ready, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, we just did our first session out there. So this is going to be the first couple laps that any of us FD drivers have done on an FD circuit. And <laughs> luckily, all the all the hopes and aspirations and dreams that this car is going to be substantially better than it was last year came true. Like the first three laps were immediately more comfortable than I was at the end of last year even. So the changes during the off season and all the hard work is really starting to pay off. I think we're far from where we need to be for the weekend, but we're heading down the right direction. Okay, well I know that you told me that you shaved 100 pounds of weight off of the car. So um, how do you get ready? How do you get totally prepared for Saturday? I think the best way to do it is just by turning laps. Turning laps and making adjustments and really being at one with the car and working with the crew. Right? Giving as much information to the crew as possible, reviewing footage, reviewing data, and trying to make a step in the right direction. No one's going to come out in their first lap, their car be perfect, the driver be dialed, ready to go for the final battle on Saturday. That's just not how it works. So the most important thing is working with the team and progressing the car. So no matter what, make a change, try it. Especially out here at Media Day, we're going to be giving ride along. So that change is the whole aspect of the car with a, a passenger with the weight so you kind of got to figure out what's what's good viable data and what's just out there playing around and getting comfortable but honestly both things are important cool. well I'm looking in uh, your car here and we have the carbon fiber body panels those are gorgeous do you want to give us a, a quick tour of your car sure okay I'll give you the mic awesome so I guess we'll start back here since we are at the back of the Corvette, but all the body panels, all the carbon fiber that you see, it all came from HGK. So all this stuff was made for one of their customers and I'm fortunate enough that they had it produced and I was able to purchase it from them because it's a huge help when building the car, not have to worry about building panels and how you're going to mount things. And I mean, they, they make it easy and they do such a great job. But back here, new for this year is a, a brand new custom CNR racing radiator. And it's really cool because it's the same radiator that I used last year, but I had to spend like eight hours worth of fab work of cutting and grinding and welding on the radiator to make it Corvette specific. So I was fortunate that they wanted to work with me and I sent them my radiator and they produced me a radiator. So if I ever smash the wall or have the need of a radiator, I just call them and they can manufacture it for me. So I spend a whole lot less time in the shop. Uh, we have nitrous, so you can see the nitrous is back here. Um, these are just like my, my cooling panels and boxes and overflows and stuff like that. Uh, I use an Aeromotive brushless five gallon per minute fuel pump, which is a, a serious beast for sure. Uh, moving forward, let me get the door here. Part of weight savings this year was going with the HGK door. So it's Kevlar on the outside, carbon on the inside. And that alone saved me like 60 pounds or something like that. Yeah, even though the stock Corvette doors are fiberglass, they're still incredibly heavy. And I replaced this too. This is HGK, carbon Kevlar. That's another, you know, 10, 15 pounds, something like that. The roof, another 20 pounds saving. So you can see that we put as much carbon as the car, in the car as possible and take as much that things that are steel or aluminum or fiberglass, take it out and replace it with carbon or Kevlar because it's a whole lot lighter and a lot more durable too. And you can get smashed in the rocker and hopefully not completely disintegrate it like you would with the fiberglass piece. You can see my Cobra seats moving over from last year. They're carbon fiber, custom with the stitching, all of that. The only thing I requested them because I just said, oh, just give me a new, a new pad for my ass. That's all I want. That's it. That's all I need is a new ass pad because that other one, she got sat in a lot. We need a new one. Less sweaty. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a new car with a new seat, you know. Um, up here in the front, not a lot of major changes. I went with a different intake manifold this year, kind of got rid of my direct port nitrous, just simplifying. And again, this is for weight savings and simplification. Huge, huge difference, just not having all that, right? Because when it comes down to maintenance or five minute calls, just trying to make it as simple as possible really works, works out in your favor. Um, this car uses off the shelf Borla exhaust equipment, which is 
crazy to think that this header you can just buy for your street Z06 or whatever and it makes a thousand horsepower in this setup and the fact that you can just buy something and go out and not have to worry about building it because like the S14 and all my other cars tons of fab work tons of fab work in building an exhaust so the fact that Borla makes a system for a Corvette makes my life so much easier so much easier um, something else new this year is that we switched to a Link ECU and immediately we saw a lot of benefits. The car is running super good, clean, and it's nice because all of my data acquisition, my shock potentiometers and all the engine health and all that super nerdy stuff talks really well to the Link ECU. So being able to pull data and also see engine health, like you can see the laptops up right now and Jay from Black Tracks is plugged into the car doing his thing, monitoring all the engine health, reviewing the suspension, pulling data logs so that we can review, make some changes and be ready for the next session. Nice work, Matt Field. <laughs> well, something that's also